Hello everyone, the Idaho Gamer here, and today is a Train 2012 tutorial on how to get the Sporbus S-P-O-R-B-U-S-T, Sporbus Locomotives, to work in Train 2012 if you don't want to wait for the fixed versions to be uploaded to the download station. So yeah, so anyways, I'm just gonna go old hard drive because these files aren't available anymore so I only have them on my old hard drive so downloads oh, load there you go so if we search SD70 hmm yep then we scroll down say for example I want to install the Norfolk Southern SD70. So you double click that, then drag that into there. We all know how this works by now. Let me just exit out of those now. And, um, all right. So if we go to viewer errors and warnings, we have those digit texture errors. And for example, if it's like a spec gray error, it's gonna be the same except with like spec gray as the name of the texture and stuff. And anyways. Okay, um that's not gonna work for the tutorial, so I have to find another thing to try and fix. Administrator. Uh, downloads. Hmm. Let's see. Let's do C40. Um, no. Actually, I'll just scroll down. Let's say we want to do, um, hmm. Um, technical difficulties are just trying to figure out what I want to do with this. Ah, yes. The, the, yeah, this. So we're going to install the NSF-9, and I'm going to show you how to fix this. Uh, yeah, Skippy's Corona and everything. And there we go. Now, if you go to view errors and warnings, there's spec gray dot texture is missing. So we have to go edit and explorer. Now mesh body. And then you'll notice spec gray is not there. So just select any random file and paste, then rename that to spec gray dot texture. Then copy that. It, it doesn't have to be the same thing, item you're just copying, it just has to be spec gray. There we go. Spec gray dot texture. Then we have to change this spec gray dot TGA. Spec gray dot TGA. So if we commit, you'll notice it probably won't. It probably won't have. Yeah, see? still faulty and that's because your errors and warnings still not registering them so you have to go back to edit and explorer and you'll notice yes the items are there but now we have to go to pm2im and um you just google trains pm2im and you have to go into options and check the open im files so um yeah then Open, and then I'm glad I have a shortcut to user data on my 
desktop. Then do that. And there we go. Now it'll actually recognize that spec gray exists. So if we commit. You'll notice the locomotive is no longer faulty. However, the interior that came with it is. So I have to wait view errors and warnings. Ah, yes, those are warning errors. Well, those can be corrected very easily. You just have to go into the config. And see where it says radius.015. Just space that out. And then put the decimal in. And then to fix this, you have to go do that, delete that line, save, save, and then commit. And that's basically all you have to do to fix any spore bus locomotive. So let's go into the game and see how this one's working. Alright, so here we are in game, and it's just me. There you go. So, um. Yeah. If we scroll down. Or if we scroll back up to where it actually is. There it is! This is Train 2012 when you have a Sport Bus locomotive working. And also, you're gonna be able to see the other ones have gotten working. Before I posted this tutorial. So, we have the Santa Fe 9. Oh. Oh, whoops, I forgot the screenshot button's not F12, it's print screen. stuff I've repaired. Um, no. So we're gonna have to scroll down some more. Past the billions of British and German stuff. I don't think there's... Southern Pacifics. There's some Southern Pacifics I've repaired as well. So, yeah, I kind of did the same procedure for that as I did on this, but um, yeah, you can see. Uh, yep, I've gotten those working. If we go down to Union Pacifics. Got the turbines working, that was pretty easy. There's these the yeah. Ah, here we go. And then I think there's one last one. Yeah, it was uh, Union Pacific Dash 9, original Spore Bust version. So, um, yeah. That's how you um, get the Spore Bust locomotives working in Trains 2012. And, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. This is the Idaho Gamer. Out.